I've known Ras Makushe ever since the time they came in 1996, and I've worked with him ever since. I'm with my fellow MC, my brethren, Ras Atapelo. We are going to be co-hosting this program. Uh, would like I and I to sing Isis to the Almighty, to send I and I farewell prayers to guide the I and I elder with beautiful voices and constructive words. The platform is yours. <laughs> Jan on Rogopa Fela, Elder Niggas, to come forward uh, to give us uh, a brief history of the Male Elder Fa, Bate Batori Tusa, Baholo, Nerere. We request a hymn while they are coming. Give thanks. So let the way the sanctuary, the divine salutations and peace and goodwill unto all men, women and children. Uh, we give thanks that they are unutterable from the mouth of man to the living God. Greetings to the Kunene family. Divine greetings. Greetings to the Eloid family. Divine greetings. We give thanks for African and Africans come together and produce perfect love. Yes, our love extended to our beloved brethren through the, the power of our beloved uh, PRO, Rasta Guy, the path center. <coughs> Because 1990, we established Marcus Garvey community. 1992, the Honorable I left for the centenary to meet the ancient patriarch Raj Bonajis. Then the I returned with a message to the elder would love to come to South Africa. So for four years, the, the blessed community of Marcus Garvey work so hard because there should be establishment when the elder come we give thanks for the community so we give thanks that the final Ras Gabri was also one of the angels that that pushed the elders to come to south africa but Gabri ever he ever that strength to push the elders to, they must come to south because the elders ever like dwindling about you know the situations but Ras Gabri, he was that angel that, that secured the elder. No, he's right, he must come. So we give thanks that finally the day did come, uh, 1996. I was so shocked to see this tall man. This man, yeah, he was so tall, he was like a Nephilim to me. Hey, Lea! Yeah, he was an angel to I, according to his length. So I behold him and I see that he's very close to the patriarch, which is ancient Rasbonajis. And then there is another brethren close to him, which was Ras uh, Tesfa. And those three were some divine spirit in those three. Because we as youths coming up now, this is what we want to see. We want to see our elders and how they administer the order. 
Ele ai. So the, it was finally decided within the within the camp of Marcus Garvey that that uh, that I will be the one that will be more close to Ras Bonajis. So we dedicate the brethren to bring Ras Bonajis from the airport out to the to the congregation on the podium that was set up with the banners and with the community waiting and with the Nayabingi chanting. It was so glorious that the people of the airport. They just run out with chairs and things to, to cater for and that it never happened before. That it never happened before. But that day, even every white person or every European person was humble. And they serve I and I. We decided that uh, we're going to welcome the elder. I was the one to do the welcoming. I welcome each and everyone. Nakushi, the ancient patriarch, and all others that was with Ras Kees, Ras Zabulani, Ras, all those brethren who are together with I and I. We welcome them and then the Aya Bingi chanting. And then we take them through the streets of Google to Heli Aye! And when they all the touch, before we touch, because we had the Merc, you know, Merc, a Mercedes Benz, a great Mercedes Benz was waiting to give the Aye some royalty. But then the voice come and say, the elder must ride upon donkey. So we was first right the other with Donkey Chat. Mm. And from Donkey Chat now to that official now I and I bring the eye in Africa now, official with the Donkey Chat. And then move all over the streets first, first move, 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 and then after a period into the murk. Yes, so we give the eye that honor because the eye did suffer for Rastafari in Jamaica. When he came here, he was already sick, but he used his last strength to come to I and I to deliver the message. And we have some nine days chanting and praises to the Most High. Makushu, he was the very angel that was close to us, Bonikis, because he was to do the interpretation and the reading. He was that angel. And Ras Bonikis, we take him to Pau, because in Pau we had also a great community where my brethren even uh, Kebra and those ones and ones where they stay. So the Pau community was also welcome Ras Bonajis <coughs> and Ras Makushi, Ras Tesfa, each and every one of the brethren have their role to play with the ancient as the caretaker. So no one could move out of position because the elder was so strict. Mm. He was so strict. He was a lion to conquer, frowning judge. Yes, I. We could see in this wine. Oh, he's a he's a frowning judge. He's a lion to conquer. So everyone was just tried. No, nothing must be wrong to him. Everything must just be in place. This is the kind of people that I and meet here. They to come to I and learn us the chantings. They never stop to chant until we know it. Although they must chant now two hours one chant. So we give thanks. For the eye works, they have done further on. The eye was more welcome to I and I. The eye chose the place where he want to stay. He chose to be here, uh, and we respect that he want to be here. Uh. <coughs> so we give thanks that you did receive all the blessing from the eye. All what the eye have given unto you. Look this great land. The I give you this land. Great community that I give you all these things. So we give thanks and praises that we in the Western Cape. Our heart is broken inside. We are very sore inside. We're bleeding actually inside because of the loss of the eye. But we know no one can stand in the way of the Almighty Eye. When one work is over, man fly away. Here you thanks to the elder for the wisdom. You have heard the history. The elder has been there. When you get Papa Singhi, a round of applause for the elder, please. Please, a round of applause for the elder. There. I'll do my job. If you don't clap, yeah, give time. Blessed elder. Eli! I greet you all in the name of Rastafari. Yes, Emperor Hill is the last guy conquering the land of the tribe of Judah, elect of himself. Rightful ruler of the 
Thank you, Adam, to get a chance to say some of my piece of the story of the elder Makushe. Tell him. <laughs> After a long communication with I House down in JA, under the elective record of Raspinto Accra plant in Montego Bay. Hear him! We requested from them that they must send the ancient to set up the house down in SA. Because I and I were tired of the dancing hall and rubber job. Mm. Wanted to put I and I culture into practice. Mm -hmm. Want a ritual thing. Not to enjoy only the body. Forget about the ritual. Eli! <laughs> After the long reasoning in the 90s, early 90s, our call was answered. Tell him! <laughs> and the government informed me that your request has been answered. Rasindi, so do you have an accommodation? Tell him! I said, no, I'm not about accommodation and I'm still under parents' control. But I will chat with I and elders who are around, who are elder than I. Tell him! I went locally to contact the twin brother, Elder Sipo. Tell him! By those years, I and I were still chanting the pingy, practicing the pingy, living the pingy. Hey, I. I Elder Sipo, you welcome my and I. I reason with him and tell him about Gabriel. He said, bring him over. We will sass, we will talk as elders. The accommodation is around. I introduce Papa Gabriel to Elder Sipo and his family. They welcome the elder with open arms. Hey, I. I then it was wonderful. We went to airport to fetch the elder. But before he goes in our yard, we take him to Chubel Park where we used to meet. In our yard meeting of RYI, tribe, 12 tribe, we used to meet in a Chubel Park. Hey, I. I he said he must, he must yeah, then touch food, his food there and see where I and I used to meet. Hear him! He was welcome with open hands. Some of the other items were confused what to do. They even put their flex down. They wanted, they wanted him to go over the flag. He said, no, that is wrong. The flag must go high. Tell him! But rise high, not go down. To rise high so that I and I who are living. Hell I! Good morning. Good morning. First, I, I, I give honor to the Almighty. I give honor to, to, to the, the uh, entire, everyone, the priests. Everyone who is here, I give honor to the elders. I give honor to everyone. I, I bring greetings from our elder, Eglantine Elliott in St. Thomas, who turns 97 on December 29th, which I will be going from here to bring greetings from South Africa to her. And we are so grateful. This morning, though, I had another psalm, but it came on me, and it was, <laughs> when the Lord turned again, <laughs> the captives of Zion, we like them that dream, then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with singing, <laughs> then said they among the heathen. The Lord had done great things for them. Ah, give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. 
I am humbled and grateful to, to have been to have been called upon to serve such a great man. Mm -hmm. A man that affected each and every one of you in a in a different way. Yes. I only had 14 and a half days with him. So I can imagine the lifetime that you had with him. Yes. And I and I honor you and I say thank you for my entire family. Mm -hmm. Thank you for keeping him. Yes. Thank you for blessing him. Yes. Thank you for walking with him. Yes. Thank you for learning from him. Yes. Thank you for being there for him. Yes. And I am so grateful that I could have been there for him. He was a strong man. Yes. A man until the end yes. stayed strong. Yes. I remember one morning, my, my first morning, when I came here and he saw me and I looked at him. Remember, I had never met this man. My mother met him when he was seven years old. And now, how many years later, just two years later, we connected to WhatsApp because Queen Tandeka was coming to uh, New York and he said, you must go to my, 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 my aunts and my cousin. You must meet with them. And I was so honored when, when, when Queen came to my house, she was just passing through. And then she said, you know what? I'm gonna come back through and I'm gonna spend my last night with you. I feel so welcome. I feel so at home. And she did. And when she called on me to come, she said, she said, come, your cousin needs you. And as she says, I'm the Elliot that said yes. And I came and I was there with him. And I was so honored when I came to those gates. I just gave thanks. Wow. Because I saw how blessed wow. the Almighty has blessed wow. my family. A king in my family. And I am so grateful to have had those 14 days with him. He's a mighty man. He's a mighty man, even in death, he's a mighty man. Yeah. He walked this earth and he blessed this earth. There's something that I, I always tell people when I tell my, the young people that I, that I serve in Brooklyn and that I go around and I speak, I said, the one thing that you must always do, make sure that every step that you make <coughs> is one that no one can erase. No one can erase and no one can erase the steps and the legacy that this great man is leaving. My mother sends you love. My mother was here until the Thursday before Elder died. And um, she said to him, she said, please, I need to know by my birthday, November 6th, that you're doing better. She gave me strict orders. She said, if by November 6th he's not up, you call me and I'll take care of it. And I remember the, the, the two days before his queen was coming home, I said, come on, we gotta get ready. So we got up, got him together. I put the bed in, in, in pure white and he had this gold, this gold sheet over him. And he was laying there and I was looking at him and I came in and I, I said, you want something the night before? I said, you're looking good, man. You're looking good. His skin was glistening. Mm -hmm. You know, you could see. And, 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 and I said, ah, you're getting pretty for your queen. Huh? He looked at me. He said, he laughed. He said, give thanks. Give thanks. He said, and stop worrying. He said, don't fret. He said, don't fret. The lion, the lion is free. The lion is free. Before, sis, before sister left, she said to him, it was the most touching, I want to share this. He said, you, you must. He said, yes, I will, my queen. Yes, I will, my queen. And that is what he said. He said, that's my queen. And she's the queen of the south. That is what he said.
thank you. And thank you all for keeping my blood of my blood. In the name of His Imperial Majesty, the one that is sleeping here is Alama Kushi. Anthony de Costa Elliot. He was married to the Kunene family. Vonda, um, Jesus, um, Santa. Well, now, oh, what's on the land? Oh, I will love land to the boat. I will love land to the boat. I will love land to the boat. No, sure. This was my brother. Yes, sir. This was my brother because he's married to our queen. Yes, sir. He's the only one that could match her mm. mentally. Yes. They used to have arguments about the Bible at work. They have arguments about the Bible until they don't even come to work the following day because they're still arguing about what the Bible says. They took the Bible to PhD level. Mm. PhD level. Mm. Nobody could match my sister than this man here. Mm. This man, he brought happiness to Tandega. Oh, yeah. You know, there's a picture that Tandega thinks that she is the queen that's depicted in that picture. And Makushi always said that he's the staff that the queen is holding to make sure that the dreams come true. This man has worked with us. The first time I met him was 2001. 2001. That's like a whole 17 years of knowing or elder. And through his whole time, there's no one that I know that's more righteous than him. I've looked, I've seen, I know people, but him and sister are the perfect righteous couple of everything. I'm sad to lose this brother. He brought stability to this machine that we are working on called House of Hemp. It's got tiles, it's got tribulations. I think it's about to fly away, he brings it back. That was his job. And it's very sad that he's going to, he now goes just when the thing is about to blow up. Just when everybody's talking, hey, you can smoke in the privacy of your own home. You know, we were fighting this fight when it was all supposed to be hush hush. All our marketing uh, programs are all underground. Shoestring budgets because we don't have the budgets. He came through in many times holding my hand, saying, doing the right thing, doing the right thing. He was my boss. I've lost the boss here. Everybody talks about how hard he works. I know how hard he works. And in all his work, I'd like to repeat that he was the most righteous person that I know. For me personally, he was also, like I said, a brother-in-law and a boss and a person I can just He's the person that negotiated Lobola. <laughs> all the people that we've met, all the business people that we've met along the way, they know how righteous this man is. And as he lies here today, he's taking a wealth of knowledge with him. I was, I was very fortunate to have a bit of it. Every time we drive to Joburg, one hour drive, one hour back, there's a lot of conversation. Cape Town trips, we even went as far as China together. 
from the communities that we live with, which is the churches and also the organizations. And all those who want to give message of support, this is a chiffon where we will be writing our message of support because it's not all of us who can speak today and as you can feel the heat, it is burning us. So I'll request that we move speedily and quickly. Yes, I now held the from the house of the Shazate. Yeah, and here yeah, to say farewell to my elder. I also remember when they come here in 1996, the priest, them and the elders, they've been saying a lot about him. You know, when they come with the ancient Kongo Watu Ponichis and test. As the priest, he did say that he was the one who interpret I in South Africa sometimes. We cannot cash easy that accent, you know. Mm. He was fast mm. 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 rolling. Then the the eye is the one who was putting I nine line that all oh, the elder say. Even some scriptures that he used to take it. Is the elder Mkush who used to say he said this. And I remember when we take them from the airport, yeah, Transmart Airport, we take them to accommodation was in Jobek, uh, Jobek Park. <coughs> And the way we were playing and jumping to them, I remember with he, him with his soft <coughs> voice and say, control the masses. Car and I is I now we plant. And say, please control the masses. Because we want to grab them. I, I now used to say, now come this side, come this side. You know, we really want to take them in our yard. You know, car, we were really happy. We went to see them. And when you say control the masses, I hear this one with the soft voice like so, and tall man like so. They okay, say, these are the engine. You know, is that what we are waiting for? Because the scriptures say, Jeremiah write the letter from abroad to the ancient elders abroad, that they must return back home. You know? You say, after 70 years accomplished, there in Babylon, we will take them home, back home. Yeah. So we did think that finally they were back home, mm. all even the ancient Bonichis. But when I promise I know that I, I will come after maybe 2000 and one. 2001. Yeah, no, 2000. The, to the year. Yeah. Then I say, Gabri, Gabri, the Gabri say, ah, Ed is too old, man, you will be no more anymore in flesh by that time, <coughs> 2000, you are. I think it's that, there is also the year that you live, you live I and I. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. You know, I and I. Yeah. So, Eltam Kush, me say, me brethren, farewell, <laughs> son of the living Aikramawi. Yeah, I stand here today, your people, the masses, everyone upon here, even the MCs, thank, I thank everyone, even beside the I9 brothers, who I now used to come together in long, 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 long time from I9 beginning of Rastafari, who built this Rastafari movement, you know. I greet everyone here in the house, the family at large. I now stand here for the TTI, the tribes of Israel. As I now Abraira is being called somewhere in our work, Papa David. As I'm David too, I'll stand in there. But I can't say the words of the I. I have my own words. 
good. Silasia. It said, in I and I prophets, what was there at the beginning shall be there at the end. Silasia. I say it's because we did start this thing together with all the brothers under the movement of TTI. All the brothers, all my these houses you cite today, it was TTI. All of them, Alphys, everyone upon here, we were together. So, as the organizers of that 90s, it's I and I organizers of Jobet Parks and everything, movements, Ganja movement, everything that is being organized was organized by INR. So I, after that, I did feel I. Now, what we like, we call, of course, I and I, as I and I, chapter, there's some who used to chant righteous way. Well, they were those who fight against righteous way. They say, I and I, Christians, I, why and I, what, what, I and I, what, what. We say today, thanks for the brothers, did he come? to show that the uh, Almighty is in and the righteousness rule Rastafari. Yes, yes, yes. Because that time there was this guerrillas of PEG, ANC, which undercome Anna, Rastafari, and all, all time they'll take Aina astray. They will say to Aina, let's take weapons and shoot their Babylon. <laughs> because we were oppressed in that time. Too much oppression, you know. You never can go out with a dumb of a rainbow. You get caught, you get kicked, you get massacred, you get, you get, you get they can do everything. As I and I, today I'm elder, we did fight about those things. We say thanks for the brothers who did come to show I and I lie. Today why I say from, uh, why do we say, what was there at the beginning shall be the at the end. Now we are one. Because of what? All these machines, there's a one, one way of ISIS in Rastafari. That is pinky. Yeah. Yes, you can be club tribe, it's pinky, you can be bobo shan, you pick. Once you clap your hands or you chant, bongo is pinky. Yes, I had a greetings in the name of His Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie the First and Her Majesty Empress Menena. Yeah. And I greet you all also in the name of the Rastafari United Front, yeah. Rastafari Civil, Cultural and Faith Right Organization. It's an organization, it's not a mansion, a civil rights organization, a union. So, I and I, from we are born, we begin our journey towards death. We don't die because of you are too wicked or you are too righteous. From we are born, we begin our journey towards death. As Rasta, we eat more cabbage, more spinach to postpone that journey, to try to make our life a little bit longer here on earth. But it is just to postpone the inevitable. Yes, sir. So we have come into that moment again. <coughs> now, as, as a Rastafari United Front, we say <coughs> we all carry the fame and shame of Rastafari. We in South Africa here, we don't have Nyabingi problem or Bobo Shanti problem or 12 Tri problem. We have a Rasta problem. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The police, they beat us because we are Rasta. Yes, the doors close for us or open for us because we are Rasta. Nothing happened to us because of you pray more than the rest of us or you eat more cabbage more than the rest of us, but because we are all Rastas. So, in, in acknowledging all our diversity and emphasizing our commonality, that's the reason why we stand up here now to also extend a message of support, condolences to the Nyabingi House, Nyabingi National Council, and uh, uh, Empress Tandega's family, the Kunene's family, the Elliot's family. We're here to pass the condolences. So, given also the limitation of time that we are given, that too, we must just come in a little bit, one minute and so, I would like to read a piece from His Majesty Haile Selassie I, whom I and I, we consider him to be our God and King, the Almighty. They say, those of you who see him as a priest will get a priestly reward. Those of you who see him as Christ will get a Christian reward. And those of you who see him as a God and King, you'll get a double reward. So, with the Rastafari, we say he's our God and our King. Not only God, but he's also our King. That means his majesty's words are the words of God. 
So I'm going to just read from the death of Blatangeta Herui in the United Kingdom when His Majesty was exiled there. So this reminds me of Ras Makushi, but this I really, in more time and most places, read it whenever we have ceremonies like this. Because it has profound words. Blatangeta Herui and His Majesty were exiled, they were far away from home. So now they were visiting another land. So in the case of Ras Makushi, he, he is born in the African diaspora, he returned back home. And then until his flesh uh, rest here in home. The dream of everybody, which is repatriation. That repatriation is a must. We have to return back to Africa. Blessed be the Almighty Empire in Slasia. So, this is about Blatangeta Herui, but I'm going to remove his name. I think you're famous, uh, you're, you're familiar with that. I'm going to remove his name and put Ras Makushi's name. Just to fit the moment and the context. Blessed be the Almighty Empire in Slasia. The man whose last rites we now perform and who now goes to his last resting place is Ras Makushi Wuldi Selassie, mm. a gentleman well-bred who stands among the foremost of Ethiopia's intellectuals. This illustrious son of our beloved country employed his intelligence and energies for the betterment of his country <coughs> and was therefore selected for the high post of Minister of Foreign Affairs in our government. The books he wrote which portray his noble character and especially those pertaining to history and theology have made him renowned. It is hardly necessary to say more of his intellectual attainments and how profoundly we feel about the greatness of his character, about his dedication to a purposeful life, his selfless devotion to help those in trouble, his respect for truth and justice, and his burning patriotic zeal for his country, all of which touch our heart deeply at this hour of his departure. My loyal friend, Ras Makushi, if our words prove inadequate in extolling what you have done for your country, to the fullest of your ability on this mournful occasion, your deeds themselves will certainly speak more convincing, <coughs> convincingly. Even though the storm of aggression that upset the tran tranquility of the world brought you suffering and severe test of your moral endurance, you did not permit it to overwhelm you. Now, however it has become your fate to obey the order of the great and merciful Lord, a lot that befalls each and every one of us in our turn. As it were, after you had accomplished what was within your bounds, we bid you goodbye in this hospitable land to which we came as a guest. Blessed be the Almighty and Prime Minister. Ras Makushi, we met, I said that last night, we met in 1998. They came to my home. Bongo Zato, Mama Anna, Ras Tesfa. And then the, 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 the Sikukuni chief gave us a land there in Limpopo, so we wanted to show it to our elders. So he came to my home. He slept in my mother's house. He slept on my mother's bed. bed. He visited us, and when he passed, I told my mother that, remember that tall Rastaman who came here and slept in your, uh, in your house? He say, yeah. She said, yes, he, say he passed away. So in honor of Rastaman, you see, it is so hot. I don't usually wear tie, you know. So I put on the tie, I'm sweating and I'm sleeping when I sit there. But it is all in honor and respect of this great man. I give thanks for the platform, to the Naya Bingi leadership, elders, NNC, RNC, to the priesthood, to the program directors. <laughs> Just 
Le bose ba bile ngo rona ka rusba. Even to all that has gathered here today. Ke renta te mdimo a a le dire ka mogole ka mogole. May the Almighty be with you and guide you in every which way. I don't have a power where I'm standing. About this soldier who has fallen. Um, I've known this man for a short period of time. Yeah, you came to him. And there is one thing. There is one thing special about this man. <laughs> there is one one special thing about this man which, which I've learned the time Haniki Motsiba. He was always eager to learn. Kibile, we talk about all of this. Kibile, oh my God, my truck on all of us. Now start to look out for the fire. Okay. For the time, brother Elliot. I have been one of the fortunate ones to have known brother Elliot. Ka. Yes, because I'm the neighbor to the Kunenes. And the contractor <laughs> And uh, I, I'm a contractor of there. Uh, I'm a handyman. So, I'm a handyman. Yes, yeah, especially to the grandmother because we reason most of the time the family issues. I respect this man who's lying right here. Those that know Tandega, I hope you know her. Tandega si Maya. <laughs> Sister Tandega is not a woman who can be just controlled by just any other man. Last thing you was up, Gogo. The last time I was uh, talking to Gogo here, Gogo, I go win it. I say, Gogo, please speak the truth. And then the mona, how no it or mix up in terms of taking for me. Ari Goko, Jate Matala, we talk too much. Na seki sivanga tendega, tunlue tuholo ana na le. The only thing I know about tendega, me and her, we always argue. But not fight the hour umunga to mark. Not necessary a physical fight where a blood is shed. In real fact, we we disagree to agree. Eh, riaha huhara. So uba ha unen leba hamakushi. To the family of Kunenes and Elio. On Aleman to Awilian Ari. Harry Lee Tong Labu Pilu. Let the lawyer on a give. My name is Bobby Mahele, originally from the Free State. This man, even though other people say he was my friend, I'm who I am because of Elder Makushe. I was discovered by Elder Makushe. I met Elder in 2008. After I've lost everything in my life. By that time I've met Elder Makushe, it was a time where I've just lost my job. After returning back from uh, returning back into South Africa, and no white company could hire me as a young man, as a young black man. While I was dealing with that kind of a, a rejection from the whole uh, community, life robbed me of my whole entire family. And I had no one in my life. I was down. I even had no place to stay. I remember I met Elder Makushe, who was with me in Kodalu. They got stuck along the road. And they could only be referred to me because of the quality and the kind of uh, uh, person that I, I am. And the moment I met Elder, I'm quite certain that everyone described him as he, who he was. He was this tall, structured person, human being. <clears throat> His eyes 
could give you hope. The way he looked at you while you are at your lowest, you will see that there's light. This is where I belong. And immediately I, I offered my kind of assistant to what their problems. And we started bonding from that time and he became my father. We could share a lot of moments with him. He could come to, to, to eventually I got actually a, a room where I was renting. He could come to that place, it was a small room. He could come there and sit with me. He became my father because I had no father. I had no family and he could build me from, from the foundation up. <coughs> I remember moving from that small room to the much bigger room. He was the one who was there. He was the one who chose a bed for me and said, this is where you need to sleep. That, yeah. that bed was quite expensive. I couldn't afford it. And he said, Bobby, my son, this is where you should sleep. Your body needs to rest. And this is a man who gave me my life back. This is a man who pushed me to, 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 to study hard. I remember when I was graduating, <laughs> they got lost. And you know, I was about to, to, to go on stage now, but I had, to, I had to delay. I had to play the delay kind of a game because my family was on the way. My father and my brother was on the way. And how I also got enrolled on that course, it wasn't, it wasn't, it, I couldn't understand. I mean, I left the country without matric. I left South Africa without matric. Most of our young people, we are forced to go through that kind of a stage in order for you to start sort of uh, doing something or realizing something about your life. So I left without matric when I left South Africa. And I came back now. I came back with this kind of a knowledge, with this kind of experience. And no one could hire me, I was overqualified with no metric. Then I wanted to start with universities, they said no, but you don't have metric. Then he said no, Bobby, don't stress. God will make a way for you. And he came at my graduation. After that, I'm surprised to hear that when he arrived back, when he arrived into South Africa, he was supposed to be chauffeur in a Mercedes, and he refused to was chauffeur in the donkey. Because this is the same man, this is the same man, when I told him my dream, he said, Bobby, my son, go and buy yourself a Mercedes. <laughs> With nothing, I bought myself a Mercedes through his encouragement. <laughs> and from that moment, I realized that there's something, that there's powers within this structure. Elder Makusha was a, a, a prophet. Everything that I am today is everything that he prophesied. He told me that you will, you will conquer the world. The world is waiting for you. You belong somewhere, you don't belong here. I mean, mind you, I'm, 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 I was just a simple mechanic. I was just a simple mechanic, but this man is speaking French now to me, speaking foreign language to me, he's speaking high, and I couldn't believe. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to say this man is not dead. The soul is forever. When he went to uh, UK, I was in Russia, and he called me on WhatsApp. I said, Elder, when I left the country, you were weak. I'm going to join you. I'm going to fly from Russia. I'll join in the UK because I don't like you traveling alone while you are so weak. He said, Bobby, I said you are going to be alone there. Do good and keep on doing good. I'll come back. And just to wrap up, after hearing of his death, I was on my way back from uh, uh, Russia, spending the time that side. The same sickness that Elder went through, I also encountered the same. I also encountered the same. I came back, I was hospitalized, I even had to go undergo a brain tumor test. And lucky enough, I'm healed. His death healed me. Mm. This is the man that I know that he was reaching out to everyone in the community. Mm. Traveled the world with Mr. Darwin and him, the Eastern Capes, send his seat. I greet once and once in the name of His Imperial Majesty. I greet the family of Ras Makushen, the family of Elliot. And also I greet the, the family of Unenes. <coughs> and I greet the community of Rastafara as large. And also I greet the community of the Nayabingi world. In the name of the most guy. Yes. yes. Everything that has been said about my INI elder 
from 1996. <laughs> in these 22 years, he's been spending to I and I. If nothing that we can say is wrong, Eli, I know about the vision of Rasmakushen, why Rasmakushen came from the West and be settled with Ayana. So we work with the ancients to establish the church because they were coming to establish the church of the Nayabin, 1996. Before any structures that came to the Nayabin, the only administration that has been set up, it was the Nayabin order administration. Brethren was said, the last brethren is what Rasmakushen is, when she comes to works. I don't want to repeat what the man was saying. But through the ancient, we throughout the whole South Africa, organizing and centralizing the Nayabingi church. And the ancient, both of them, they said they will give the portion of the land to the community to build the church. But now, our church does not affiliate in, under the, under the uh, 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 Council of Churches. So if it's not affiliate under the Council of Churches, how this INI land to be transferred to the Nayabin community is there who come with the idea of the, the trust. Let's form the trust so that the trust must look all the properties of the Nayabin. Yeli Ai. Yeli Ai. Yes. As they assist I and I. By 2005, when we said now, let the Nayabingi house be stand now and organize and clean up the yard, he assisted the ancient. Big time. Until 2009, even to set up the trust. The ancient assist I and I until the trust was registered 2009, July. When I and I officially launched I and I <coughs> a, a, a National Council, the ancient we drive to I and I yard and collect I and I. We drive one day to go to Devon and check the vein. That the vein is suitable to host this gathering of the Nayabi, 2009 July. We go to Deben in and out with an ancient. It's got strength, the ancient. He encourage I and I. That is why I and I, we are standing today as strong as I and I in the church. It is because of him. He's a priest in the Nayabingi all. Both of them, they've been a hand to I and I community as I and I where we are today. But we give thanks still to I and I, as the community of South Africa, we've been lost the warrior. So may the Ayrit of Rastafari guide and protect the Ayrit of Rasmakushe and rise again and trample the dragon, you see, and trample all evil conception that rise against I and I community. Ay -li -ay. Give thanks to Elder Peace. Oh, Yeah, 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 yeah
Power, the king of kings, the Lord of Lords, the Lord of Lords, the Lord of 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 the Lord to I know mamas, I know not forget. Great work we do for I know in this time. Because without I know mamas, there is no nation. And I give thanks and praises for their presence all the time. Ah, yeah. Yes, I also send my greetings down to the youth. And I also send my greetings to my mama here. To Mokunene and the family. And everyone who is amongst I and the neighbors, and all the speakers who speak to for in the behalf of the Niger, who is lying before I and who is living I and okay. Because the I and know to say the Iris is always rise. Let I and know to say much is I rushing abroad, fleeing out of the bondage, coming here. In the south, <coughs> bring I know the light and st 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 stabilize I know movement, <coughs> which I know Asian Bonaches did light to I know. Is the man who was always keeping the, the oil, you know, in that country. When the country is going down, he always put the oil together with Mama P and other Asians who were calm. And the others they come and go to this. So, on the behalf of the trustees, <coughs> yes, I know I am the chairperson of the trustee of the South Africa Missna. So, as I know, we have lost a pillar. You see, when the house lost one pillar at the corner, so that house is about to collapse. Eh? So, it's for I and I now to put up. You know, something to block this because he lighted the candle for Aina. It's not for Aina now to come and mourn, but Aina to celebrate what he gave for Aina. Because what Aina, all the speakers they said, it is good and it is what it is, even in this day. Set up in the <coughs> trust is where Aina, Asian Makushe, he did tell Aina to say, no, for Aina asset. To be kept, you know, we need to have a trust. I know by that time didn't know of all those. He said, now how am I gonna secure I night things? So he said, no, let's build up a container first.
Hail unto the Most High God, Emperor Hail Selassie I, and the greatest queen in the universe, I and I, Queen Mother, Empress Waziaro Medina. Yes, I and I, brethren and sisters, as I'm on the battlefield, Mama Gomnini, thank you for being here. I always recognize your face from the day that I see you, that you are a woman of strength and you produce nothing but goodness from the womb of the morning. Hey, I I want to show that my heart is right here because whatever I become in South Africa started right here. When I come to England, I meet Ras Makusi in London and he was the strength in the whole group because a man cannot walk without a woman yes, sir. a nation cannot rise without an empress so he said unto himself this queen when I hear that an African woman is in London I was blown away because I, I think that these people must be different from me because I just want to see who is this woman that come to take I and I brother over, you know, and I really feel proud. I am not lost. I come and him is one of the man, this man that you see lie here today is one of the great wonders of the earth. Rats, 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 rats. Everyone feels the spirit of this man. Kindness, honest, blessings, everything that is good comes from this great man. You see how he talks with love? He's tall. So they have to make it tall. My one won't be so tall. But I will be there. Praise the Lord. Because what Rats Makushi have done, when them say they want a sister and mama to come into Africa, they choose Mama V. But trouble not going to last long. I respect the place where I am now standing because it all started because of this man. This man decided that they want to send our request from South Africa to bring a mama to come to rise you my brother i come to say rise up take a stand whatever office the most i put you into stay in it and continue doing good work because a man like this how can we say he's dead no 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 he's just like god himself because we started here in kimberley and we traveled to some other places and we end up in mama and a house in Palm Spring, you yes. take very good care of I and I. Palm Spring. Palm Spring. More, more than one time. Yes, yourself, I see the signal. I can't tell you everything. Because you know what? <laughs> if I start to talk, there is no end. You know? I can't tell you everything, my people. But the goodness of the Lord endure it forever. For that. Rastafari oh, know what this gathering is for. Yes. And as you see the congregation, you can know say you are around people of quality, yes, dignity, and every other kind of thing that is good. Rast this mask oh, is God. one of them. This is one of the flowers that is going to be there when we march in through Zion Gate. The chance will you be there when the trumpet sound? Because how are you going to feel? If you've been calling upon Rastafari name for so long and at that great and terrible morning when the books are open wide, you are missing. You was wasting our time, the people. So I fight for that, that we don't waste I and I time. We come to do good, we come to show you the love that we have and we want it to stay like that. 
We want to request my last part that a tabernacle be erected on this ground. Yay! In out in, in the in here in the deer. We want to see the one who take this button build a big, huge tabernacle on this part of ground so that all those ones who are still out there to come over will come and worship here. This name and this place will stay as long as the sun and the moon are there. Don't let Mama B start to talk because I am a radio that if you don't turn me off, I will keep on playing. Bless us, bless um, bless people. Bless his queen. They take us in when we were sick and miserable and mad. You know, because when I come into South Africa and see how much the heathen fat and flourishing and my people are suffering, living in squalor, <coughs> suffering, really suffering. Even now they are suffering, but really a great change has come. The table has turned. Rastafari build up I and I strength and give I and I the victory of the good over evil. So bless the Lord Rastafari. Keep I and I all together every time. Read the Bible. I always tell you, study your Bible. Keep it written on the fleshy table of your heart and you will win. I and I are victorious because our God is alive and well. So I bless you each and every one and I want you when my time comes, I want the congregation to be big and Fire talk up. about Mama B. <laughs> right, I know it will be big, so I can say thank you, Ja. Thank you, Ja, because you give your love to I. For many of the blessings that Jaja has given to I, it's flowing like a mighty stream. So I want to thank Jaja for keeping I safe. Denaya Bingi choir must rise yeah. Yeah. and speak about what you learn and sing about what you know and then I and I will be free from all yeah. these things. Praise be to the Most High God Rastafari, yeah. my perfect heart, my love, my guidance, my shield and my protector. I need the encouragement with you all my people. Let us keep it together. Let us rejoice. Let us sing and shout and praise the Lord because I and I have a living God that we never forget. So give thanks to the people. Let the words in my mouth, let the education in my heart be ever acceptable in sight of the living people. I don't want to say anything more because as you keep present, you keep on a look over you. So give thanks to the people. Oh, so keep on rejoicing. Amen. Now the youth council is taking a last council. I have Ras Muladelo, the chairperson of the National Nayabingi Youth Council. All these places. You can see him when he stand up. And you can see you dance. And you'd be amazed that the elder can dance like this. So that would inspire I and I. So I and I know the elder in a spiritual. I don't know the other side, but when we meet today, when we chant, you know, I know the hell. Simple chant. Aya bingi, aya, 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 aya,
Uh, I and I would like to greet everyone within the house. I and I would like to greet the family. I and I would like to greet the elders council. I and I would like to greet the youth council. And I and I would like to greet Olipa, the houses which are represented here to respect the elder in this time. I and I, in this time, feel that we could have maybe asked more questions to the elder. Because the elder, for I and I as the youth, when I and I was growing up, he played a role where I and I could go to him and ask questions. You see, when I and I was rising, you see. So, when I and I go to the ancient and we ask questions, he grabbed the sword, which is the IB, this one. You see, that is one thing that I and I did observe in the elder. And that is what I and I did see the elder is teaching I and I, even though he's not teaching I and I, but the way he, he does his thing, his teachings. You see, so I and I did see that the elder, he always rely on the scroll, you see, through the IRP. You see, so I and I did also realize that the elder, he dedicates his life <coughs> to the Ayabing order. You see, when you check the history, when we are chatting on the group, the other people from other nations, they talk about the elder, say in Austria, he established some community. Maybe there's a history that still need to come out about the ladies. Elder Mafushi did leave a legacy for repatriation that it is possible for I and I to come from that side and leave this side, you see, for a long time, you see, because it's like living in a heaven, you see, that's how I and I, we, we see that when the angels, they come from that side and they come this side, you see, they, they, they come in a heaven, so the elder, if he's going to heaven, if there's a heaven, he has gone to heaven twice now, you see, or he's going to go to heaven twice. So that is the advantage of being a rust. I die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I die. There's many things that the elder taught I now. You see, even to say ja. You see, when the elder come and he start to settle this side. You see, when you say ja, he used to rebuke I and I say no, don't say ja. You see, his name is highly celestial. Yeah, yeah. You see, because when you say ja and you find that when I night fraud, you see. It caused some fight for I and I because now you say poncha, you see, and now you see it becomes some controversy. But it's one of the things. The distinguished guest of Rastafari dignitaries to the family of Mama Tandega and also the family of Asian Elder Mapuche. Ayman is Aymont and Lava from Eastern Cape. Aina has also been working with the Youth Council of the National Mayabingi Council, uh, serving as a technical committee since the coming of the pilot project of cannabis here in South Africa, working with the Elam Ayman, firstly, it is truly a prophetical thought, the one of Rastafara. One will say, mark a righteous man, for the end of such man is peace. Ailea. So when the ancient explained on that testimony, he say, I and I are mark man. So I and I have seen the mark man, which is the ancient Elder Mahush. And I have seen the end of such man being in peace, not in violence, not in any destruction. And the word of the prophet is saying, Jai gave the word, and great is the company of them that publish. That publish the world. For I and I are the ambassadors in faith. And I and I have seen one ambassador of Rastafari. So we give thanks for all that they and I have done for I and I. I might stand here, we just take a portion, which I and I was can't shy away to share with you. It was 2010 when I and I have shared with the elder through Elder Rastabulan. We were living in Port St. John, where the large project of farming were doing down there. And then this project, we were just keeping it as a youth veteran, trying to make up a living of Rastafari. When the elder heard of that, he was so shook, he climbed up on top of the table, and he stand like this. And he said like, wow, 
How can the youth do such great work and them as the elders never get told of such? Mm. And we told him how many acres of land we are planting. We are planting cabbages and cotton and all that. Him, while he was climbing on top of the table when in the ATM in Kimbal, him tell I said, draw out your budget for the next coming project of the season. I, Makushe, I will do my work that I came here in South Africa for. So mine is to uplift you as a young generation who see that we chase away poverty amongst I and I, the last of And when I see you, I see that generation of you. You are the Bonaji. That's why he said that's why. So it was just a, a, a moment when he said that. Then it was not long time, just a week after. He called I and I with Mama Chandika right here. He said, my youth, come up right here now. I've got your portion prepared. I and I didn't have to climb up, we came here. We sat in the sound, it was me, Mama Chandeka, and Mama Mapushin. I just gave a brief presentation of what we're doing. Yeah. So they gave all the inspiration of how we have to play our head, doing what we're doing. And then the next day, we woke up and went to the house of them. Then there was something about incentive loan that they were discussing. But Ella Makushi, on the last moment, changed all that. And there was a crossfire with, her, with him and Mr. Tandeka. He said, no. Mr. Tandeka, you can't tell her nothing. These are my people. There's no piece of paper you draw for them. Because Mama Tandeka was in an agreement of incentive loan to say you draw out a contract. For them. He said, no. You know what? No dirty paper here. I'm going to give my youth. Why you take this man? If you want to go and eat it, go and eat it and do whatever you want to do. But I, Mark I've done my work. Gave I now a portion of 15,000 rand of cash. And then we move out here. You take I and I right down to Jonas Bay. Then when I and I arrive to I and I bread red, I arrive with a portion of money, we put it on the table. We say, let us continue plan with our next phase. We planted a hectare of land, 20,000 cabbages, planted 10,000 spinaches. We had our project booming. We harvested, we said, we sent the elder the, the pictures and everything. He connected China with the NNC in land to see the project in his spreading. So the next time when we're again harvesting, we said, Elder, we are prepared to pay you up. But he just told me that no, and we were in the Tabernacle project. He said, no, we take that money. Do the work of Pastor Farai, then we do that for you. Don't bring me no money, no one, no paper money. So we take the money, we went to visit the chapel, we give it to the elders, we took the problem. Then in 2016, we accomplished a tabernacle in the Nyabini house in Eastern Cape, with the assistance and advice of the elders. So that is just the portion, I know I know it's getting detail, but we have such powerful moment that we have shared with them, with the spiritual approach. Right. So I man won't say much, but it's a stone. It's a friend. It's a stone, a rough stone from the continent that was stolen through the years of slavery. And he had landed in a pit where they sell slaves. It's called Jamaica. It was not used for any other way, but it was used as a pit to guard the slaves so that they cannot run away. Out of the seed of the slave, if Jah revive him, as he said, I will take you from the ash heaps and from the downhills and place you with the princes, the princes of my people. What a royal occasion for a great prince that is crowned right now king. Elia is the last day, great God had come and take his two elements away. Because he had found him no more to come dwell among man. Because his descendants is too great for man. Because man have never listened to Rasma Kushi. If Rasma Kushi was listened to, you can see this big yard is desolate. A big yard like this is desolate. Look how many of us stand here. None of us to take a spike and plant things here. We bring reports of things we plant there and there and there. But what did we plant here? 
Look at the house. You can see here was much chief. Because why can such a big land lay desolate, waste land? Now people are going to come and fight over this land. Because this land has meant nothing for them. Rasmakushi have united himself with great spirits and forces of the universe. They have come and collect the two elements that make you the people sit and complain and mourn. The Majesty say, weep not, weep not, for the Lion of Judah hath prevailed. The Majesty have come in himself and have released the king from the struggles he have fought with men and the struggles he have fought with nations. And therefore, Aina is here to be joyous. Aina is here to then confess. Because Makushi was a man that have not keep shut his mouth. He had speak it rigidly out to anyone because he had no fear. He had used Naya Bingi occasion to correct the mistakes of people. And this man was a fire to many. Because many did this here now. I see how they did run when Naya Bingi is hit up Ras Makushi. Because then Makushi want to clean up everything. Ras Makushi want to clean up all these bad brothers among us. Yeah, Ras Makushi was a warrior. He did not just like you must come and pretend. Now as many pretenders are here today, Ras Makushi is still here. Only two elements is taken away. And that is flesh and water. He still have his bright two elements and he's right here in the presence. Because when we call up Naya Bingi, we call up David and all his company. The sepulchre of David have risen and is here right now with I and I. And they are now examine I and I and approve I and I to see if we are really worthy for what we are trying to do. We give thanks to all the people from near and from far that have come to pay the respect with the royal dignity of my brother Makushi. <laughs> I give also thanks for the priesthood councils that have rise from different areas of provinces to then come and pay the respect unto my beloved brother. This brother he was a foundation in the house of Rastafari. So due to that, to, to that I would like to just quote a small piece of Psalm 100. A 19. He say, Oh, how love Makushi thy law. It is his meditation all the day. Go through thy commandments. Highlight the last have make him wiser than many of his enemies that is still here with us today. Due to the speck of the respect, Highlight the last have teach him to be brighter than his teachers because he had meditate upon the testimonies of the Mosai. The Mosai have given him also a greater sight than the ancients, because he did keep the Mosai's precepts. The Mosai have refrained his feet from every evil path, so that he could teach the word to I and I. And because of the word that he have teach to I and I, it have become even sweeter to the honey to I and I mouth. And because of that, I have cleaved to the teachings, and therefore, I and I hate what is false. No, Rasmakushi was a man that have not liked falseness. He have not liked a thing that he cannot see clear. So I and I better try to live up to the testimonies of Rasmakushi, because he's not gone. Rasmakushi is not dead. Christ 2000 years come to prove that death has no existence. So we are not here to debate it today. There is no death. Rasmakushi is yarding. <laughs>
Come on, come on, come on, come on, Among the cause, you are the only child of trust. Give us the poor and needy, lead them out of the end of the wicked. They know nothing at all. Hey, 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 
Just be careful, I know what this is about. Elder Simo! Elder Simo! Elder Simo! Elder Simo! Elder Simo! Slow, slow. And the rest of the seven days for yeah. all the work yeah. which he have made. And God bless the seven days okay. and sanctify it because in it he had rest from all the works which he have and God have created and made. And these are the generations of the heaven and the earth when they sure. were created in the day the Lord God made the Send earth and the heaven. Now close to us to provide the items. I have the the I Ok, 
King Sela says, I said, I'm between the two. Charide upon the wings of the sea, charide on the wings of the wind. Oh, Sana, oh, Sana, unto the King of Kings. Oh, Sana, oh, Sana. And to the Lord of Lords, King Selassie, set up between the cherubim so let them Anyone else? Anyone else? Who shall rise up on the wings of the sea? Rise on the wings of the sea. Hosanna, Hosanna, to the King of Kings. Hosanna, Hosanna, and to the Lord of Lords. King Selassie, I set up between the two. Charide upon the waves of the sea, charide on the wings of the wind. Hosanna, Hosanna, unto the King of Kings. Hosanna, Hosanna. Unto the Lord of Lords, O King Selassie, I set up between the cherubim so let them
Down in the valley for a very long I have been we never get weary Yes, I No play, play I never get weary